Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Dragon Age Origins. This is um, going to be a pretty talky episode, I think. We're going to talk to everybody here in camp. First time being here and all. Let's see what uh, Duke's got to say. Oh. oh. What, what? <laughs> Are you harassing my dog? Me? Harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Oh, poor baby. There's hardly any blood drawn. Whoa, did he actually draw blood? That's crazy. Damn. Um, he is a war dog. I'm not really... This is our first time actually dealing with, um... Duke in a non combat setting kind of so yeah i don't i don't know i think um i think we we're kind of thinking like well he's he was raised to be a violent war dog so maybe we need to be extra careful with him he's not he doesn't seem like a pet you know he is a war dog sometimes i forget that he's a war dog that'll teach me okay I once heard a really <laughs> old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> oh, like you can <laughs> tell the difference. <laughs> For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Ooh. Alistair's got a way of uh, scaring this dog. We're grossing him out. It's primal's tasty. I never feed you. Another, I'd never feed you another human being. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Hmm. Well, they seem to be getting along mostly okay. Hi, who the hell are you? You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Um, sorry, Duncan never mentioned you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Hmm. Let's talk about the pledge that he made you before we decide whether he would want it fulfilled. My family will pass a bit checkered to see. Will. The nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when oh. the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Mm. Classic nobility move, although Georgian knows nothing about that. Um, what happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Hmm. Okay. I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Good on you. Uh, so what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Hmm. Never even heard of Soldier's Peak. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Hmm, a base for the Grey Wardens. Um, you know, if if uh, we are going to actually accrue what ends up being an army, as Flemeth described, then it 
might make sense to have some kind of base to operate out of. So I don't think we need to ask this third question. I think that seems obvious. Um, why didn't Duncan help you? I presume because of the blight, but let's see. Dark's born surfaced yeah. in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Hmm. Um, yeah, I can do that. I'm not sure when we'll get to it, but we can do it. What do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Mm -hmm. Will you think on it at least? The family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay, and he's gone. I thought he was a merchant. Okay, fine. Would have been handy maybe if he'd stuck around a little bit. I know we've got uh, Bowden to talk to here, but we don't really know what he has ah, to sell just yet. Good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Sounds great, actually. Yeah. Honestly, the more help we get, the better. Um, What are you selling, exactly? Anything, everything. But all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. It is kind of refreshing to see some of her own kind, uh, Georgianne thinks. Uh, although these are surface dwarves and she knows next to little about what, they, what their experience up here must, might have been like. Apart from what she's experienced on her own, of course. Um, sure, let's see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Okay, let's see what we're operating with here. 13 gold, 28 silver, 86, I'm going to say copper. Um... Potent poison. Okay. So I need to probably create some poison stone. You know what? Actually, hang on a second, dude. Before we do this, I probably need to make sure that I'm... I and my party are wearing the best stuff. Um... Basically the same as everything I've got on now. What about... Alistair? Anything better since... Whoa. Considerably better, although it does up his fatigue quite a bit. Well, let's try it. What the hell? We only have the Kunari cap, which I'm thinking... Um, Yeah, I'm thinking that Sten would wear that. I don't know. Morgan, I don't think we have anything for you. Doesn't seem so. Duke, I think you're good. Okay, Sten, what can you wear? It's just wearing clothing. Um, okay, how about a helmet? <laughs> He's gonna wear Alistair's old shit. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing to start with, anyway. He doesn't have a weapon.
Let's go with a two-hander. Well, hang on a second. Thinking about it, let's look at his character sheet. Two-handed. Yep. Okay. Ton of strength. Not much constitution. That's interesting. Hmm. Tons of combat training. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll go with the two-hander. And... I'll say that's good. Liliana. She's a single dagger. And she's a bard? Is that right? Bard. Type of rogue. Cunning, willpower, dexterity, strength... She's an archer, is she? Let's keep an eye out for a, a bow. I don't think that we've retained any of the bows that we have. That we've picked up, I mean. Um, so in the meantime, why don't I give you... It's probably too big, isn't it? Yeah, okay. She'll take it. Those are all just different types of gloves. Yeah, that'll have to be good enough for now. Seeker Circle, plus one cunning, plus ten mental resistance. Chantry Robe. Okay, so we have reason now to retain helmets, armor, all kinds of stuff. We've got so many characters to kit out now. Bows, arrows, that sort of thing. Okay, now we know that we can sell some stuff here. Whoops, Bowden. Uh, I'm left clicking, not clicking. Anything I can do for you? Please, please tell me. Um, we could ask for a story, but let's wait. Where's please? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Okay, definitely want to buy this stuff. Because we won't be doing alchemy. We may be creating our own poisons. Um, hang on. How many of those do we have? We have ten. Good grief. No, we're good there. And we're good on lyrium for now. Um. Concentrator. Corruptor. Distillation. Corruptor. Most powerful poisons and traps, eh? Hmm. Okay, we will need some flasks. So we're going to be doing some poison creation. Let's take 20 for now. Reader, one point to spend on a talent or spell, but is rendered useless afterwards. We can't afford them. Um, oh, should we buy a bow? He doesn't have any bows. Hmm. Bard's dancing shoes. Hmm. I think that might be worth it. Let's let's, let's look here, Eliana. She could use that. Inscribed. Hmm. That's expensive though, that's most of my gold. Um Maybe the helmet just to start with, huh?
Mm, you know what? No, I'll wait. I'll wait until we pick up some stuff. All the runes and what this is. Oh, gifts. Oh. Okay. Stick. I know where that would go to. Um, and loot. I know where that would go to. These are all free, so I'm presuming that these must be DLC added. I don't know. Let's not take all of them right now, though. Um, chastity belt. Good grief. Backpack. Distribute weight evenly, letting explorers fly, fight unfettered, even while carrying large quantities of gear. Each backpack purchase automatically increases inventory capacity by 10. Ooh. That'd be nice. Something to remember for next time. It's expensive. Okay. So, flasks. Did I, wait, did I buy flasks? I did. Okay. Um, we can sell Oathkeeper. We can sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Okay. Should we try... I, I can talk to them about their story some other time. Should we try making some poisons? Make death root extract or venom. Let's do that first. Okay. That'd be nice. Keep an unlock tinkerer. Well, that was easy. Uh, what's the... Why did the journal just update? Soldier's Peak. Yeah. Duh. So it services there. I just did talk to them both. If there's anything I can Hang do on, is there something please, I shouldn't please tell me that I missed? Heard any rumors, I guess. King Kaelin dead, the throne falls to Queen Anora. She's made her father the region, however, at least for now. Terran. I think Kaelin's father, old King Merrick, would have approved. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Hmm. You know. Georgian's kind of piecing things together as she goes here. Terran Loghain, of course, uh, seems to have betrayed the king and the Grey Wardens. Quit the field at a crucial moment in the battle when the beacon was lit. Um, the fact that that betrayal... Uh, let me back up. That betrayal also fits with the weirdness of um, the Darkspawn coming up through the tunnel into the Tower of Ishal, as if they knew the importance of the beacon. Um... I think I mentioned when we were in the Tower of Ashal, like, hey, what the heck? This almost makes it seem like somebody on our side is um, working with the Darkspawn. And now, and then, of course, Terran Logan quits the field. So I think to George Ann, I mean, obviously she doesn't know the full story, but she might actually be thinking, like, fuck, Logan's actually in league with the Darkspawn or with the Archdemon or something. Of course. Good fortune to you and yours. Uh, I want to see. Goodbye. Can I talk to you about? Hello. There we go. The enchantment. Boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have hmm. it. Okay. 
Let's do some enchanting. Enchantment. What can we do? We have no items to enchant. Ah, shit. Okay. We got a lot of runes, though. The quest is completed. Oh, okay. I just had to talk to him about enchantment to get that done. Well, let's see how Morrigan is doing. What do you wish of me? Ah, just here to chat. If you must. Um... Have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? That's a good question. My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Hmm. So she... This is part of the explanation around why Morgan really, really doesn't like Alistair. Really had no trouble with them? I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Hmm. Did you actually kill them all? Me? No. I never did any of the killing until later. And even then, Flemeth was a glutton for that sort of thing. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Hmm. Um, what exactly is an apostate? You do not know. The I think I do. The use that word but... for any magic they do not control. The Chantry sees any mages not leashed to the circle of magi as apostates. And apostates could become maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. It okay. may even be true. Still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. Hmm. Um. I, I guess, I mean, I don't... Georgina doesn't know enough about the Circle or whether abominations are real or not. Morgan seems to think that they are not. Whereas Alistair has talked about him like, nah, dude, they're totally real. Um... Just, um, if I were a mage, I might think the same, I guess. I can't imagine needing to be tied down to some, um, rogue group just because I'm a rogue, you know? Thank you for small favors, then, at the very least. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Okay. She didn't want to talk further. Just getting a look around, you know. Let's see the perimeter of my camp. The hell? Why is that dug up? Is that a latrine or something? Talk to... Oh, we haven't talked to Alistair yet. I mean, we did when he was with Duke, but we haven't actually talked what to him. Need? Ooh, right. Yeah, do you want to talk about Duncan? That's, this is kind of a heavy subject. You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Um. No, that's okay. I just thought you might need to talk. I. I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it. Not when so much is riding on us. Not with the blight and. and everything. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. Perfectly natural, I would think. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, I think Georgian is thinking uh, about Duncan, uh, Alistair and Duncan's relationship the way that she would feel like if her sister was killed, right? 
she would uh, be devastated. She is, I think, trying to be comforting to Alistair with that understanding. He had you. Uh, let's not say that, because that might be a little bit presumptive. We're not quite sure the relationship. There was definitely a mentor-student relationship going on between them, but we don't know if it was quite that personal as uh, being family. But I think that's an excellent idea. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Dwarves don't practice cremation, do they? Nope. How do your people honor your dead? Uh, well, in Dust Town, we just kind of throw them in the dumpster. <laughs> um, our ways are not your ways, nor Duncan's. That's probably the closest to what Georgian actually knows, yeah. I suppose you're right. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Good. I'm glad. Um, would it be alright if I went to High Ever with you when you go? I'd like that. So would he, I think. Okay. Sten, you mountain of a man. Why are we stopping? Uh, it's called resting. Organic creatures have to do it to maintain themselves. Um, let's just get a few things straight. Uh, I'm not sure if I need to be that saucy with him yet. Um, I think we should talk for a moment. You are... a convicted murderer after all there are dark spawn to be fought is this delay needful yes this is how people rest um i don't know if i can trust you at my back i am kunari i have given my word to aid you we are not people of idle promises okay that's something i didn't know that before sorry tell me about your people no no <laughs> no why not people are not simple they cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Okay, that's fair. Um, are you alright? You were in the cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Okay. You said you were in the army? I am. Um, why would the Kunari send soldiers here? Honestly, I, don't, I guess I've, I know enough from the conversation when he was in the cage to know that the Kunari are not from around here. So, yeah. The Antam are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. I see. Um, doesn't that make the Kunari view of things a little skewed? You're only getting a military uh, source of information on anything outside your own culture, right? This is all probably beyond Georgianne's understanding of the world as well because she knows jack shit about the outside world from where she grew up she's learning gradually but it's it's a steep learning curve she feels compared to what um yeah that's a good question he's right everybody's perceptions are skewed somehow what does anyone truly know of the world the world changes we change the Antam observe what we can, just as you do. There is no point to this. We are keeping the Darkspawn waiting. Okay, let's go. As you wish. Don't want to piss that guy off any more than I already have. Um, Liliana, I guess, is the last one to talk to? Yes. Hi, hey, uh, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Um... So how did you... Yes, this is a good question. How did you end up in Lothering's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Um, beautiful charming woman such as yourself. No. Um, you just don't seem to belong in a cloister is all. Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker in Andraste and the chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. Hmm, what did you do before that? She mentioned she had a life before the Chantry. That's what I'm trying to get at here. I was a traveling minstrel in Orle. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, yeah. let's move on. 
Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the full story there. You do pick up skills when you travel, of course, but usually skillful combat isn't one unless you have somebody that's traveling with you that is skilled in combat. Okay. I think it's probably time to move on. Um, I think we're heading for Redcliffe next, right? That's what we're doing. Go this way, right? Okay, who to take this time? Well, yes. Let's take people we haven't already yes. traveled with at all. Indeed. Okay, so that's the Dalish. That's Redcliffe. Sultra's Pass, that would be Orsamar, I think. I think Callanhad Docks, that's to the circle. Ban Lauren's Lands, I don't know why we're going to Ban Lauren's Lands. Soldier's Peak and Denerim, the Royal Palace. Okay. Lothering and Plymouth Hut. <laughs> An Ustigar and the Kokari Wild. What's this? What the hell is this? The glitchy ass game. Okay. Um. You cannot travel at this time. Why the fuck not? What did I do? God damn it. Ugh. Yes. Indeed. Yes. It's aggravating. Anyway, uh, Redcliffe Village. 